Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, my brothers and sisters, to yet another episode of Look What the Lord Has Done. And today we have an amazing testimony from my sister from Goa. And she's going to share with us her wonderful encounter with the Word of God, how she fell in love with the Word of God, and how the Word of God led her to do amazing things in her life. And before we start, I'm going to read from Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, that you have anointed both of us to proclaim your good news. And through this testimony, we believe that there is a special anointing on those who are listening to this testimony, that they are also released from the bondages and from the strongholds that Zinni was released from. And just as she was led to forgiveness and she was led to restore her marriage, in the same way we believe that the same anointing is flowing on all our viewers in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen. So go on, Zini. I think I've introduced you already, so you need not say your name. You can continue with your testimony and share with our viewers how you fell in love with the Word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All glory to you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for giving me this opportunity. As I share my testimony, let it bring glory to you alone, Lord. As how the word of God transformed my life. I will read from Isaiah 61, verse number 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hi, dearest Marina. Hi, Zini. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hello, my friend. And hello, all my dear viewers. My life before the word was, in one word, religious. Okay. I had unforgiveness in me. Bitterness, anger, resentment, everything opposite to what God says we should have. Okay. Like in 1 Corinthians uh, 13, I'll like to read what exactly love means. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 7. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Amen. Exactly opposite to this. That's how I consider love. Conditional. You do this and I'll do that. That way. This is how my journey started. I was uh, having a lot of issues due to all these uh, things. Okay. Because uh, living in the world leads you to have uh, one complication leading to another. And when you live according to the word of God, it keeps giving you freedom from one issue to the next. So 
my journey started way down in september 2015 okay and i was led to that uh, especially by one scripture which i was saying without having any knowledge of the word then okay and uh, i believe that this is a scripture which led me because i always say no human being has led me to brother johnson retreat okay. it is the lord himself because he loves me so much and he wanted to give me freedom from whatever i was going through so i will read to you zephaniah chapter 3 verse number 17 okay the lord your god is in your midst a warrior victory he will rejoice over you with gladness he will renew you in his love he will exalt over you with loud singing praise the lord this is exactly what he did i was uh, i had the cd because someone had given it to us okay and uh, they had also informed about brother johnson's retreats i never bothered my husband used to watch them at home but i used to not watch as i was addicted to tv serials and the candy crush game okay and uh, that's how i just existed i did not leave as uh, the retreats uh, that day it so happened that uh, the tv was on it didn't remain on by mistake it was the lord's plan working out perfectly he's a master planner oh my god he planned so beautifully i really get amazed and awed at the way he plans out things you know it's really beautiful 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 so that day i was going in the kitchen and i heard him i heard brother johnson preaching on mother mary and what struck me that day has remained in my heart he said we all say mother mary mother mary mother mary but who among us has trusted god the way mother mary is she was only told that she would become the savior of she would become the mother of the savior nothing else was told to her but she trusted god every step and that day i sat there and the lord took the desire of watching serials amen totally. he set me free amen that day, that day. amen to that praise god praise, praise god. god thank you jesus i don't know what's happening on the tv anymore and from that day my walk started i used to listen right watch till 1 2 in the night and when i had holiday the next day it is to go even at 3 4 like is to watch the tv typing the no, notes brother johnson's teaching and there i came to know so many things you know the lord was speaking through brother johnson to me directly to me praise god and he was convicting me about the elder brother's attitude i had the elder brother's attitude in the prodigal son condemning judging a lot of negative things right and he was leading me in all that convicting and you know all these things i was going through. october 2015 i decided to attend the retreat and i took leave and all that but it never happened and i was really weeping in front of the altar saying lord i want to be there and i'm here and next moment the retreat goes live it goes live and i was so filled with joy that day i learned about love about forgiveness about love your enemies all those things that okay. was a teaching for me tailor made i had to only put it in practice which by the grace of god i did because he said forgiveness is not a decision it's not an emotion 
forgiveness is not an emotion it is a decision you make and you have to dwell on this and the reason why you make this is because god loved you so much god loved each one of us so much that he sent his only son to die for us so that you would get life we would not perish instead of hell he gave us heaven amen amen because he loved us first amen that is the reason why i had to make that decision so i did that decision i put it into practice the lord healed me that day of a lot of hurt and pain which i went through as uh, brother johnson spoke about old players and new players okay old players are the ones who are close to us and who remain with us all the time new players are the ones we meet in our day to day life and and it is according to me it is the hurt which leads to hate and the lord healed me of that amen and i was set free totally that day praise god because i married for 24 this year i'll be completing 24 years okay and it was in 19 i got married in october 1995 october uh, not uh, march 1997 I remember Father Lawrence prophesying two things over me, and then I didn't know what it was. One is that I will have a child, and the second that my marriage would work for the glory of God. Amen. I didn't understand this at all at that time. But when I came for the retreat, I understood what it meant. The Lord was healing me of every pain, of every hurt I went through. and this is how it started in marriage like since i had a sensitive nature i used to have cold wars okay i was champion in that and these are like since i had the sensitive nature, the moment he said something to me in the night i would turn the other side and sleep the moment i came to know But when I turned the other side and said, "I'm fellowshipping with the devil," I stopped it. Immediate stop. I put to that. I mean, it didn't continue. About the forgiveness part, he led me. The Holy Spirit, you know, led me into that forgiveness because I had not forgiven that person for over thirty-seven years. This is one of my family members. Okay. He led me into it. He made it possible. And. as each area was being dealt with by the lord i was being set free from each and every area each and every because you know he he was he was so gentle i would sum it up with this beautiful beautiful my life is so beautiful because jesus makes beautiful things out of my life the holy gently spirit, touching me the holy spirit you know causing, gently opens up each reveals each area of your life and yes. he beautifully tells you okay this is not what it should yes. be and he gently leads yes. you out of it and helps yes. you with his strength to get out yes of what is yes burdening you what is binding you and it's such yes. a beautiful way he does it yeah beautiful because he gives you time to deal with it he, he doesn't force he he really gives really really gives you time to deal with it he does not condemn you at that moment of time when you are not ready he gives you time and that is exactly what happened also okay because of every hurt which i was going through like uh, the song which used to come paper roses i used to dedicate the song to my husband every time it came i used to say this is for you like and the lord said i had to say sorry about that okay first time i said no lord i cannot he 
he said to me uh, my grace is sufficient he did say that but still i was not ready he didn't pursue it further the next week it came again that is the time i went straight and i said sorry to my husband and the response which i got made me realize how much i had hurt him as soon as i said sorry he said praise the lord I said, Lord, after this, I'm sorry. And this is the way each area he was dealing me. There was one particular incident which had happened to me, which was caused by someone very close to me. Okay. He made this statement that uh, she's nothing much to look at. When I was faced with this statement. i didn't do anything about it it remained in my subconsciousness once i remember when brother johnson sent a forward it hit me the lord took it out from where it was he wanted to heal me of that that's why i get amazed amazed i get awed at the way he loves me because he wanted to set me free from everything you know he he has made me whole actually he has made me whole and when i got this forward i was traveling in the bus i remember and i started crying i was crying bitterly like i just closed the phone and i kept it inside and you know which which uh, the thing scriptures came to me at that moment of time yeah tell us i will never leave you i will never abandon you wow. even your mother forgets you i will not forget you Amen. And then he said, "You are so precious to me. I have called you by name. You are mine. You are mine." And as I dwelled on the scriptures, on this, you know, that thing was coming in my mind. I was so calm. And today I can talk about it so beautifully. I mean, it's gone out like. Amen. And Amen. I really don't Amen. care who Praise says God. who says what about me. I really don't, because he says I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. That's enough for me. What is more important to me now is what my God says about me, not what someone else says about me. No. I block. what the enemy is trying to do by the grace of god and i receive what the word says about me amen and this has given me that abundant life in jesus because in john 10:10 uh, he says gospel of john verse 10 chapter 10 verse 10 the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy that is exactly what my life was before the retreat and after the retreat jesus says i came i left 99 and i came looking for you i said lord you loved me the way i was the way i was you loved me you left the 99 and you came looking for me and you picked me up so beautifully and he says here i came that they may have life and have it abundantly amen amen every retreat every preaching in fact when brother johnson speaks it is the lord who speaks through him to me direct i have to correct that area i have to come out from that that is exactly what happens to me the lord deals with me he brings every area to the surface and he heals it you know and that is a time uh, i was dwelling uh, i i i love uh, isaiah 43 that chapter i really love it because uh, the lord only really led me into it he sent someone in asked me encouraged me by giving this verse first 
Isaiah chapter 43, verse number 2 and 3. Okay. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burden, burnt. And the flame shall not consume you. He gave me this encouraging words. And when I was dwelling on this, I went ahead and I read something else also. Isaiah chapter 43, verse number 25. Okay. Where he says, I, I, I am he who blots out your transgression for my own sake. And I will not remember your sins. And I started saying, Lord, if that is what you do, if you have to remember each one sin, I think you would have gone mad by now. <laughs> That's what I said to you, like, you know. And Lord, since you don't remember, I'm making this decision not to remember. Amen. Amen yeah, yeah. to that. I will, I will not remember. And believe me, Marina, every hurt has faded. Praise every God. pain has faded. Praise God. I may remember if to share the testimony. At that moment, maybe I may get a little emotional. That's it. It doesn't carry on further. I don't get any video films again and again about it. Praise God. I'm absolutely free because if he doesn't want to remember, why should we? Why should remember? I remember all this? Yeah. I mean, it only brings you pain, nothing else. You, can, you allow the devil to take a foothold in you. So this is a beautiful verse which I got. It is the Lord who revealed this verse to me. And he confirmed this verse for the last few uh, months. Brother Johnson is teaching about inner healing. I was watching those uh, videos. And here, I want to give every praise, all glory, every word of worship to my God for the precious gift of Brother Johnson to me. Praise God. And his beautiful wife, Janice, and his children. His labor in the word and their sacrifice to preach the word of God unhindered that has resulted in me having the joy of the Lord. Praise Today I know God. That my joy does not come from other things. It comes from the source. And the source is my Jesus. Love. The love who loves me with an everlasting love. Amen. Amen. The love. The love says, I will never, never, never forget you. Never. He will never forget. Me. I pray for any human love anymore. God is my witness. Because even when I was in that situation, you know, I had walked out of the house. I had gone one day, many years back. My baby was just two years old and I had gone away. Even there he protected me. Praise God. He didn't allow the enemy to destroy me. He protected me. And he revealed this in one of the retreats to me. And that is the time I was questioning the very existence of God. And that is the time he revealed to me this verse, Psalm 31, 21. Okay. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me when I was reset as a city under siege. 
so that i said lord you loved me always even when i didn't know you and that day i knelt and i said i'm sorry for doubting your existence i'm sorry for asking you why no more do i ask the question because even if whatever issues come today i know one thing romans 828 will work for me amen because he says <laughs> for all things work together, together. wow i mean all I mean, things great. work together all things work yes. together for all for continue good for Speak good scripture for those who love him and who are called according to his purpose amen oh, amen yes. oh yes so beautiful like i mean and then if the enemy tries more tricks like then i say i trust in the lord proverbs 3 5 and 6 i trust in the lord with all my heart and i lean on to my understanding all that thing what is showing me you know i don't want to lean on it. i acknowledge the lord with all my heart and i walk in what his path whatever he's showing me can you read take that can you read that scripture i will read that verse to you because that uh, proverbs 3 proverbs 3 yeah i'll say that proverbs chapter 3 verse number 5 6 trust in the lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths wow that's an amazing yes. scripture and that is what he has done okay i'm a testimony who has experienced his love i can testify today because you know i've experienced that love he gave me the grace to deal with this pain with whatever you were there in my life he took away every pain hurt and he replaced it with his love it's got to day like he is what he is to me my everything and i can't do without him i can't amazing. do without him amazing amazing i need him every moment of my life i need him he said no if you love me follow my commandments and mother mary also said do whatever he says it is difficult i fall a number of times but he helps so then i try to walk how is your family life now now see because i have changed there's so much of change because you know <laughs> i've heard my husband telling someone like there's so much of peace <laughs> my god i said okay like you know yes and what about your peace. daughter my daughter whenever i share my testimony she she sort of testifies she says yes there is a change monday i asked her very casually you want me to go back to my old life no 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 this is good this is good because uh, you know like uh, the moment i came to know life and death is in the power of your tongue by the grace of god i stopped using those negative words i stopped doing a lot of uh, like usually you tend to correct your children and all this i stopped doing that and i said lord you take over because children are a gift from god he says it in psalm 127 that they are a uh, gift from god i don't i have not uh, 
taken it, but I've come across this, Psalm 127, where he says they are a gift from God. So, you know, and uh, I take this scripture for her. Great is the peace of my child, for she is taught by the Lord. There are many things she does which the Lord has taught her. The Lord has taught. I have not thought because I can, get awed when I can see you tell her us? Thing. Can you tell us which scripture is that? Uh, that is 50. Scripture 54. 13. All your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the prosperity of your children. That is Isaiah 54, 13, right? Yes, correct. Isaiah 54, 13. Okay. And it is true. It is true. It is true. Because he has brought her up beautifully. Okay. So, and I uh, thank him for that. Before we close this episode, yes. and to my viewers, this is not the end. Zinni is going to share another part of her life where after she has encountered the word of God, what is her life now, how she is reaching out to others through the word of God. So stay tuned to the next episode of Look What the Lord Has Done. But before we close this episode, we are going to have the closing prayer where she is going to impart an anointing of the comfort that she received of the love of God that she experienced, of the studying and growing in the word that she's going through and she's enjoying every day that makes her relationship with the Lord beautiful. She's going to impart this anointing on all who are listening. So you also know that Jesus loves you. Jesus cares for you. You are precious. You are carved in the palm of his hand. He will never leave you, never forsake you. So Zini, can you make that closing prayer for all our viewers? Heavenly Father, I thank you. I praise you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I release this anointing from existing to living life in abundance. This anointing of making each one of them aware the way you made me aware of your presence in my life. That they are precious to you. That you love them with an everlasting love. That Father God, that you sent your only son to die for us. And our freedom was not purchased with gold or silver, but by the precious blood of Jesus. This anointing for each one of them to become aware of his love for them. It is that experience of being loved by the Lord that broke and took away a lot of negative things in me, of desires got destroyed. Lord, I impart this anointing that each one of them studies the word, dwells on the word, Amen. makes the word the final authority in their life. Amen. Not what the world says, but what the word of God says. Because the word of God is a spirit and life. It gives life. It brings to life relationships. The way you have put life into my relationship. The same anointing I release to the listeners, Lord. Through that same anointing that they be able to forgive. That they don't hold bitterness. By being aware of your everlasting love for them. In Jesus mighty and glorious name. I pray. Amen. 
Amen, amen, and amen. Can you also impart an anointing for them to be out of their bondages and their strongholds as you were out of your bondage of games, TV serials? Can you also impart that anointing? Yes. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The way you broke the yoke of the enemy, of this addiction of TV serials and the games, Candy Crush especially, Lord. That same anointing I am part of viewer, that they receive this grace, they receive this anointing, which destroys the yoke of the enemy, which destroys, takes away the craving, the desire to watch serials and to play the games. The way you took away this desire from me, Lord, that same anointing I impart to the view, that even their desires may be taken away through the dwelling and learning of your word. I make this prayer in Jesus' mighty and glorious name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sini, for being with us. And we are going to see you again for the second part. And thank you so much, my brothers and sisters, for watching this episode of Look What the Lord Has Done. God bless you all. Stay blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Yeah, stay blessed. Amen, amen, amen.